Bowled in. Played right over the top, and Eastwood bowls no, no score. Australia, one for none. He completely yorked himself, and Snow has staged a great breakthrough for East for Australia. Eastwood out for a duck. Let's have a look at it again. He tries to turn it round on the leg side. And you saw how he was going to turn that down to fine leg. Ian Chappell comes in in his accustomed position at number three, and he comes in to face the usual crisis. Lever running into Bolter Stackpole. Where's that going? Is it a catch underneath it is Snow? And he may get it. It's over his head. It could be six. That's a six. And Coming. Snow has injured himself. Hurt his hand. Snow has hurt his hand. Now, let's see what happens here. Ellingworth coming down to see Snow. Let's watch that again. We'll just have a look at that in a moment. But Snow is leaving the field. In comes Lever. And you'll see Stackpole go for the hook underneath it, skying it high. Snow runs in, expecting to get underneath it. But he has to go back again. And he's run into the fence with his hands, as you can see. And you saw him reel back from the fence, clutching his hand. Dolavira to Chapel. Could be four. <laughs> Being chased by Underwood. Chapel coming back for his second run, but it's flying into the fence. It actually gathered speed. And it's four runs to Ian Chapel. Takes him on to six. Stackpole 13. There's a pill for court behind. Not out, says umpire Rowan. Chapel looking round, I'd say, indicates that, uh, I should say, Stackpole looking round at the players, indicating that he didn't hit it. And it's Lever bowling to Ian Chapel. There's an appeal for court behind, and he's out. Chapel is out. Court not bowl Lever for six. Australia two for 22. Well, the second time was lucky for Peter Lever. Chapel turning round to play chest on, as he so often does, playing a little bit to the leg side, the ball moving away from him. The problem that England now faces is quite simple. Can their bowlers swing this game without the help of John Snow? Willis to Stackpole. And that's down through the mid-off area. Well timed. It's come racing out towards the boundary. It won't be four. As Luckhurst may just get to this. They've taken two and they're turning for three. Stackwell on top of that one, but there's a man out. They might beat him. Might beat Underwood. It's going to be close. Four runs. Cheers for Stackpole. That was, uh, I think, the best shot played. There it goes. That's the shot way out and long on there. Maybe six. It's a tremendous hit. Six runs. Well, that's the second six for Stackpole. That was a mighty shot. Oliveira to Stackpole. And there it goes, it's a no ball, out to the boundary for four it goes, it's way sailing out there. Yes, into the fence on about the, looked like to be about the first bounce. Lost sight of it for a moment in the air. But Stackpole to 40, and Australia's 50 coming up. Australia, two for 51, and Stackpole, 40 out of 51. That's Hampshire, or rather that's uh, Shuttleworth, the substitute fieldsman for John Snow. Australia's 50 coming up in 78 minutes. And down a fine leg, it should be four again. Not a good shot, it came off the edge of the bat, but down to the boundary for four, and Stackpole goes up to 44. Stackpole so far, three fours and two sixes. Where's that going? It's out towards Dolavira and he won't get to it. 
A little wide of him, four runs to Stuckpell. Two men in the outfield, but Stuckpell goes up to 49, and he has the confidence to play that ball, that stroke, the lofted drive. There may be some tactical plan here by the Australian batsman for Redpath to hold up the end and allow Stackpole to do the scoring. At least it appears that way with Redpath only 14 out of 49 in the partnership. Is he caught? Yes, he's out. Redpath caught Hampshire. A very good catch indeed. Bold Illingworth for 14. Stackpole not out, 49. Australia, 3 for 71. Illingworth has one for seven from the far end. Willis to Stackpole. And down to the third man, that's Bolivira, and that's the 50 to Stackpole. Willis to Stackpole. And Stackpole knows what to do. Where's it going? It's out towards the boundary. They've taken one, coming back to the second. Wasn't well hit. But sufficient to get two runs. Quite safe on the onside. There were hardly any fieldsmen there at all. And Stackpole goes to 52. Walters won. Three for 75. The medical report on John Snow is a compound dislocation of the little finger of the right hand that will cause an operation that will be performed tonight. Yes, that's a very nasty injury. I believe that the fractured bone was sticking out of the little finger when he was taken away. So that just gives you an indication of how grave the injury was. Very painful indeed. Willis to Stackpole. And that's one that Stackpole enjoys. It's going up towards the boundary. Four runs. Stackpole, 56. Walters one, three for 79. Last ball of this over from Willis. And where's that going? Is it out to the boundary? Who's there? Out. Caught. <laughs> caught by Dolavera. Walters. Caught Dolavera. Bold Willis for one. Stackpole not out 59. Australia four for 82. Willis has one for 28. Let's see it again on the action replay. Frank Tyson. Well, look at this shot. It isn't a very good shot, is it? Underneath it, up it goes, and Dolavera was right inside the boundary, right for that specific purpose. A very poor shot indeed from Doug Walters, I felt that. He's set a very good field, a ring of cover, a ring of cover fieldsman, as you saw. He's got this mid-wicket there, Ed Rich, and a mid-on for the single. He's also got two men out for the lofted drive. A very intelligent field, I think. Ooh, that was very Close indeed. Must have been close. If anything, probably Frank might have missed the league stump. It did spin, but it must have been close. Oh, that's it. That's four runs. What a beautifully timed shot from Stackpole. When he hits a four, they really go into that fence very, very hard. As Stackpole now 63. Quite incredible. He's 63 out of a total of 88. Field the court and he's bowled. He's bowled. Bowled. he's bowled. Well, that bowled him round his legs, so Stackpole is out. There's trouble for Australia. Stackpole bowled Underwood for 67. Greg Chappell not out six. Australia five for 96. And Illingworth has two for 13. Bowled him. Marshalling right across that one, and he is out. Bold Underwood for 16. Australia, 6 for 131. And the relief is universal. You can see it. Let's have a look at that again and see how Marsh hits right across it and right over it. A quicker one from Underwood, I feel. Where's that going? It's over the head of the mid offer. Well played. Four runs. Chapel 29, O'Keefe 1, 6 for 141, and that takes it down to 82, and Greg Chapel measured aggression.
This, of course, would be a great victory if England managed to pull it off because they've been deprived of two of their stalwarts in batting and bowling in the persons of Boycott and John Snow. Stumped. He's out. Yes. Well bowled, Illingworth. Chapel. Stumped. Not. Bowled, Illingworth. 30. O'Keefe not out one. Australia, 7 for 142. And Illingworth has 3 for 28. And well bowled. He, he picked... Chapel's desire to come forward, the end of Greg Chapel, and probably the end of Australia's hopes. Runs are really at a premium at the moment. Seven for 145. We've seen only 22 runs scored this morning in just on 70 minutes play. Here's a good shot from O'Keefe, and that's going to be four runs. <laughs> a good shot from O'Keefe. O'Keefe now seven. Australia 7 for 149. It roused the Australian crowd here a little bit, but there's a long way to go. We have another, what, 74 runs to go. Seems like 1,074. The last ball of Illingworth's over to O'Keefe. Here's another good shot. It's going to be four again. Good hitting by O'Keefe. And that's 150 up for Australia. Seven for 153. O'Keefe moving on to 11. Dolavira to O'Keefe. Could be out court. Yes, O'Keefe is out. Caught at uh, Backward Square by Shuttleworth. Australia, eight for 154. O'Keefe out. Court Shuttleworth, bowled a dollar vera for 12. So Australia, eight for 154. It's just a matter of time now before the innings winds up and gives England a very good win indeed. They have thoroughly deserved to win this match. It's dollar vera bowling to Lilly. And he's out court. Billy staying there. Yes, he's out. Billy not at all happy with that either, it appears. In fact, he's looking at the fieldsman as he goes out. That was quite surprising. He's not at all happy. But Dumpire Rowan had uh, no hesitation in giving him out. We couldn't see it, really, Frank. No, the body of the batsman obscured. Jenna facing Underwood. And that's it. Is it. Yes, he's out. That's the end of the match. And 12 long years from the day Peter May's team lost on the Adelaide Oval, Railingworth's side has triumphed in this magnificent Sydney test. Billingworth, leading his men in splendid fashion, won the series 2-0. And he has a royal farewell from this great ground with his players cheering him off. Two things have stuck in my mind from that match. The first one, Ray Illingworth having Greg Chappell stumped and brilliantly stumped too with the ball that floated away with the arm. That was a lovely dismissal for a spin bowler to be able